everybody, this is the Vix Trend and today we're going to talk about Italy during World War II a little bit because contrary to what people mostly believe, Italy and Germany was not exactly allies in the way that you might think that they were. Now, they started off as partners but as soon as Mussolini was usurped as head of the fascist party they were going to surrender to the Allies and they did. However, Peter Badoglio did then a double whammy of bad decisions. He surrendered and then he fled along with the royal family to the southern Italian coast. This meant that he had deserted as a head of state the entire Italian army. The, the German response was to occupy northern Italy and then occupying the entire thing and basically making them a subject under Nazi rules. This led to the, to the rise of the partisan warfare that took place and when a successful partisan raid had took place the Nazis responded in classical Nazi ways by killing lots of civilians. Usually it was 10 per killed German. Some of these uh, massacres have been infamous, such as the massacre in Marzabotto and uh, other stuff as well. But the movie we're going to take a look at today is about the massacre that took place in Rome and the subsequent mass killing of civilians. And the movie is called Massacre in Rome. in Rome there was a raid from partisans that killed 33 uh, German soldiers. In this movie they are regular German soldiers. In the reality I think they were Waffen SS but I'm not entirely sure. I think it was Waffen SS but it doesn't really, really matter that much. It, so it all falls on Commandant Kepler to, to try to select the prisoners and the unlucky Italian civilians that were supposed to be part of the mass killings that was going to follow this one and we're following the procedures, the attack and the, the consequential of the entire thing aka the mass murdering. It's a fascinating tale but um, there are some severe problems with this one. You know this isn't a bad movie at all, it is in fact a pretty good movie but it lacks certain parts of, of narrative that I would have liked to see. Now Kepler played by Richard Burton, they, they were not hesitant about killing civilians. He was not some conflicted character that didn't know whether or not Germany could win this or not. He was a almost stereotypically evil Nazi, a complete zealot and a Nazi lunatic that were the, precisely the right man for this job and he had no problems rounding up the up people. He even had a couple of people that uh, didn't need to be killed according to their twisted logic that they had. So that part bothered me a little bit. I also was bothered that the apathy from uh, the Vatican was also pretty much left, oh, left out of the movie. The movie lacks a strong narrative. This, this movie doesn't have enough story to make it into a full-length feature film without featuring some other things. Some historical context is lost and you don't really get that much meat on the bone, sort of. It's just a lot of calculating and stuff like that. Now, the story is so fascinating in itself and the gallery of personalities that could have been used makes this, in, in a sense, a, a lost opportunity because I don't think we can ever see another uh, version of this one. I think this one should have been a documentary about the massacre of 1944, not a feature-length film. It could have been like a, like a one-hour documentary. It could have been pretty great with talking heads and you know all that stuff. Um, it has great music. Burton is very good, and uh, the story itself is strong enough to at least you know make you care about what's going to happen, even though everybody knows what's going to going to happen, and, unless you don't. If you ever are in Rome, there are some very interesting. A caves that you can uh, you, you can visit where the massacre took place, where you can 
viewed tombs of unknown, infamous and famous Italians that uh, had to uh, be sacrificed for uh, the partisan raid. I think this is a good movie, but it lacks something that I really can't quite get, get my hands on. But it is a good movie. I give Massacre in Rome 61 points. It is a good movie with good music. It's pretty well told, although some of the dialogue is a bit clunky. I think that um, if you don't have time or effort to, to pick up a history book to read about it, this is an okay way of, of, of seeing the story. But I think that uh, you could do better. So here is. The, so we are right now in Amalfi, pretty far from Rome, I would say. But uh, we'll see where we go next, and uh, we'll see what we review in well uh, so and so, and we review well uh, such and such. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.